So I decided to make another pulley for the motor. Because <coughs> like I said, this is only turning the pump at 170 RPM at the moment. But you don't have to increase the pulley too much to get it up to, well, I'm hoping to get about 220 RPM, which is very close to the 240 optimum so to that end i i have been out to, with my little beer can furnace today and we've cast this up doesn't look like much at the moment but i'm fairly certain that that will once it's machined up that will uh, that will turn into a perfectly serviceable pulley so and that was done from that was done from the <coughs> extruded aluminium that i used in a recent video where i i cast some just bar stock uh, and that's the same extruded aluminium. Um, so hopefully that will uh, do the job nicely. We will return after a bit of machining. Well, the new pulley is finished and there is the wonderful object. Now, is it perfect? No, it isn't. The, there were some inclusions in the casting. There was one quite large one there, which I have actually filled with um, chemical metal. And there was another one, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but there was, a, there was another one inside the bore. Well, when I drilled and reamed it, there was another little air, air hole inclusion there. But it doesn't matter, it's not going on the space shuttle. It's a pulley for an electric motor, which is running at relatively low RPM, 1425, and it's gonna drive a water pump, which has very little resistance. So this will do fine. I'm very pleased with it. Just shows you what you can do. You know, this started off life as um, aluminium extrusion offcuts and backyard homemade furnace, cast the blank, machined it up, and we've got a perfectly serviceable pulley. And what I thought we'd do before I actually fit this is I'll, I'll actually check the RPM of the pump with the little tiny pulley that's on there at the moment. And we'll just to see what it's actually running at. Right, we'll turn it on. Uh, it's varying quite a bit, but around about 125, around about 125. So it's a little bit slower than I actually thought it was, which um, is all is all good news for the um, for the pump because it's actually doing really really well considering it should be running at 240 and it's running at roughly half that RPM. So we'll change out the pulley now. Oh, I haven't done anything yet about the leaky gland. I've still got to sort that out. So um, we'll change out the pulley and we'll measure the RPM again. Okay, we've got the new pulley fitted. So let's turn it on. Oh yes, that's definitely faster. We've got a much higher rate of flow. Let's see what this is doing. Right, well, excellent. Uh, the digital meter is showing 260 on average so it's a little bit fast so i could probably do with turning this this pulley down a little bit but um we're now much closer i mean we're only 20 rpm off of what it should actually and i'm sure the extra 20 rpm is not going to damage it but yeah so we've now got it pumping at full capacity let's uh, see if i can move the camera so you can see see the water flow right <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all wrong with that. It's interesting that we don't have the leak from the gland. It's not leaking as much as it was. So that's amazing, that is. Awesome. Lovely colour water. <laughs> so there you go. Now running at pretty much the speed it should be running at. And it's very interesting that the gland doesn't seem to be leaking as much. I still need to have a look at that, but no, very, very pleased with it. So I think that'll do for now on the Stuart Turner water pump. The next stage will be to get rid of this and get it um, running off of something like a proper engine. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.